Hey Bridgepoint, this is Jared, and I uh, want to wish you a happy Christmas season during this Advent time. Uh, we are encouraging you to read through the book of Isaiah, or specifically chapters 40 through 66. And, uh, and today, um, the chapter is chapter 46 of Isaiah. So I want to read just a portion of that, but before I do, um, I want to set it in its context. So uh, through this second half of Isaiah, God is showing people the light uh, on the other side of their darkness. He's showing that there's a light that is coming. And throughout this whole section, there is this um, picture that comes into focus of the servant of God. And it really becomes clearer starting in chapter 49. And we start to see uh, all these beautiful descriptions about Jesus who will fulfill all of God's promises. Um, but in these three chapters, chapter 46, 47, and 48, um, in preparation for the picture of the servant, whom God will send, um, God talks about the destruction that came to Israel through Babylon. And, and so they're kind of difficult chapters to read, so I just want to set you up with it, and then I want to read one scripture that will put it all in perspective. Um, so Israel was unfaithful to God over and over again. They were his servant that rebelled and disobeyed. And as a result, God handed them over to foreign nations to experience the consequence of their sin. Uh, but when Babylon invaded Israel and took them captive, Babylon chose to treat them wickedly and without mercy, which God rebukes and then says he will punish Babylon later for that. And so it's in this, like, this context of God's judgment, first on Israel for their rebellion, and then on Babylon for their mercilessness and wickedness, that God gives this promise. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 46 verses 12 and 13, so the end of your reading for today. And he says, Listen to me, you stubborn-hearted, you who now are far from my righteousness. So he's speaking to Israel. They've been stubborn. They've rebelled against God. They are far from his righteousness. He says, I am bringing my righteousness near. It is not far away, and my salvation will not be delayed. I will grant salvation to Zion, my splendor to Israel. So what he says is that um, Israel has found themselves far from God, but it's not because he moved, it's because they moved. And so because of their rebellion, they, they were far from God and his holiness and his righteousness. But what this also says is that God's not going to wait for them to come back. He's going to bring his righteousness to them. My righteousness is going to come after you. And I love this picture that even when we run from God, even when we rebel against him and we find ourselves far from him, it's, be, it's not because he moved, it's because we moved. But we have a God who's willing to come after us, to bring his righteousness to us. And that's what we celebrate this Christmas season, uh, especially during Advent, that Jesus, God's righteousness, came to us, even in our brokenness, in our rebellion, and in our sin. So may that truth be true of you. May you sense that the God of all righteousness and the God of all love and mercy is the one who chases after you this Christmas season.